Hi, and welcome to the 2016 edition of the Missouri Urban Journalism Workshop. I'm Anna Pruce of Park Hill South High School in Kansas City. Last fall's protests by the group Concerned Student 1950 and others are still reverberating around the MU campus. As Kayla Gross of Fort Osage High School in Independence, Missouri learned, it's affecting more than just enrollment. For almost two months, the University of Missouri was filled with immense tension. You could feel the tension between um, students that were protesting, students that weren't necessarily protesting, but were a part of marginalized groups, and then people that weren't. You can kind of, you could, you could sense the tension and see it um, in various different ways, just by like walking to class, like people would look at you differently. Last fall's events are also affecting enrollment. It's expected to be down by at least 2,600 incoming freshmen this fall. I think that there's a lot of reasons uh, for it. I know that um, certainly smaller classes uh, coming out of high school are, are an issue. But I think that we're going to do what we've always done. In January, the university administration required diversity and racial inclusion training for faculty and students. Yeah, I think that ultimately we're a better campus for what happened. We're talking about issues that had been hidden for a long time. I think that uh, they're creating some trainings, which would be good. Anything we can do to raise a lot of these issues that were brought up can only benefit this campus and the conversations on campus. But not everyone agrees. I think the climate will be this, if not the same, or um, worse than it was last fall just because there's I feel like tension is starting to rise um, over the summer. An administration spokeswoman says they are working to resolve the issues raised last fall. In Columbia, I'm Kayla Gross with the Missouri Urban Journalism.